Hey guys, Jamie here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanna to make zucchini fritters. Super easy, keto, healthy, fresh, summer's on the way, so let's get into it. To kick this one off, I'm just gonna start by, I've got one onion here that I've already diced. So if you wanna know how to do that like a pro, then I will link another video up there. It's just gonna make dicing an onion more consistent, you do it quicker, and you won't get the tears. So. That's one onion going straight in a pan, and then just gonna put him on a low heat to sweat down. So that's gonna take about four to five minutes. So while that's working, we can make up the rest of the mix. So I've got my bowl here that things can go in. I've got a grater. We're just gonna grate these, and then we're gonna squeeze the liquid out and they can just go straight into the bowl, ready for everything else to be added to it. So once that's grated, just make sure you get everything from the inside of the grater, and then just grab it in small handfuls and then just squeeze it over the sink. So you're getting rid of all that excess liquid because that is just gonna stop it from binding that well together. It's gonna create a lot of steam, so it will be more soggy so you just want to get rid of as much liquid as you can. You don't need to go too OTT on getting that liquid out, but just uh, try and get as much out as you can. So I've got two cloves of garlic. One is going to go in with the onions and the other one is going to be for the aioli. So we can just give those a gentle tap to get the skin off. And then you can just run the knife through that. If you want to get it really fine, good little tip is just to put a little bit of salt on your garlic and that way it's got something to rub up against that's firmer so then it's just going to break down into a nice smooth puree. So that's my two cloves so I'm just going to split that in half. One half can go in with the onions, give that a shake. and the other half can go into a bowl and we just reserve that for later when we come to make up our mayonnaise. So quick wash down of the board and then I've got some parmesan. All the amounts you're gonna find below in the description so you can just refer to those, it's much easier. So there's a very light cup of Parmesan going in there. I've got some mint that uh, needs to be used up, so that can just go straight in. And then per courgette or zucchini, I'm going to put in one tablespoon of heaped ricotta. So I used two zucchinis, so Let's just throw two large dollops of ricotta in there and then just give it a really good mix. We're just going to see the, how it binds together and then from that we'll be then able to see how much egg we're going to put in. So it's always better to start off short and then you can add more if you need to rather than trying to get it out because it's... Um, not going to happen like in the end you just have to end add more of everything to um to get that balance so at the beginning always under add and then it's much easier so that's actually looking like it's binding quite well so we won't need that much egg and if you do add too much egg then you can just use almond meal or cauliflower flour to then absorb some of that moisture so I'm just gonna crack this into a bowl first. And break it up. Give it a quick mix. And then let's just go in with all of that. You might even wanna add two eggs just so you get more volume. So if you add extra egg and then you're gonna bulk it out with your almond meal, obviously at the end, you're gonna get more fritters. So um, depending on how many you're cooking for will actually change how you're making the recipe. So you can see that now is, is quite wet, but when it goes into the pan and uh, 
that will crisp up and make really nice fritters. As long as it's not too liquid, then um, it's pretty safe. But there's no real set way. It doesn't, if it's really soft, that's fine. It's gonna firm up. It just really depends on how firm that you like them. So uh, normally they're much, like obviously they're gonna be much lighter if they're looser. So if you want them to be quite dense and more filling, then um, for sure you can add that um, almond meal in. The onions still have a couple of minutes to go. So when they're ready, we're gonna to have to take those off, leave them to cool, and then we can add them into this. By cooking them down slowly, you're gonna, first of all, they're gonna be much softer, and secondly, they're gonna bring out the sweetness. So um, it just makes it a nicer end result because you don't want those crunchy bits of onion in there. You just want a nice, smooth, velvety, lush little fritter. So I've got my garlic. I'm just gonna go in with some mayonnaise. So this is kewpie, but which is Japanese mayonnaise, but you can use whatever you want. So a couple of tablespoons of, of that. And then I'm gonna take off a cheek of lemon, and that I will reserve for later. And then I'm just gonna cut this in half because I don't need it all, and squeeze that lemon in so it's quite sharp, you want a good bit of freshness and zing to this one. That lemon juice can go in and then just give it a mix. But one thing to keep in mind with the garlic is it doesn't develop its flavour straight away. So if you mix it now and then try it, you're likely to just get either no garlic at all or it's going to be really sharp. So just give it time to mellow out and develop because it will change its flavour. Even after 5-10 minutes the flavour will change. So just give that a mix and then that is ready to go. A really light lemon garlic mayonnaise. So the onions are there, they've got some colour on, but we're just going to give that a couple of minutes to cool down and then it can go straight into our zucchini mix. So my onions, they're still warm, but we're just going to throw it straight in and give it a quick mix. So that will just bring the temperature down. You can do all sorts with this. You can put some sun-dried tomatoes, pine nuts, like whatever you want through it. There's no set, set recipe. So it's really, really flexible. So let's head over to the stove and get them cooking. So cooking these is pretty much only about the heat of the pan. You don't want it too hot, otherwise they're gonna to color too much before you flip them over and it won't be cooked. But the zucchini hardly needs any cooking. The onions are already soft, so you're only really looking to cook the egg. So it doesn't take that much temperature, but you just don't want it to be really, really hot. So just before it goes in, I'm gonna black pepper, sea salt. So don't season it too early because um, what happens is the salt uh, it, like extracts the moisture and then that's the water content coming back into play again. So just season it just before you are gonna cook them and that way you just get a nicer consistency. So, oil in the pan. We can turn the heat down now. And then I'm just gonna do mine around a spoonful size. And then afterwards, you can just knock them into shape. So just use the spoon and all those bits that are sticking out, just tuck them in because what will happen is they will, um, they will get too much colour on if they're just left out there because they'll be sitting in the oil and it will just get a little bit too hot for it. So make sure the oil is spread around and then we can go in with another one. So you don't want to overcrowd the pan, that will bring the temperature down and also 
if they touch each other, then they're, they will stick to each other. And just tap it down. They're gonna collapse a little bit anyway when you flip them over. But they look like they've got enough color on. So you can just get the, you can really smell the mint in these. Get your fish slice underneath it and then just fold it over. And then you can shape him again. Flip it over. And that is pretty much it. So it's just about pan control of the temperature and then getting that color on, flipping them over, and then on the underside, you can just turn down the heat and let them cook through, and then they're ready to plate up. So I'm just gonna turn the heat off and then they can work through. I'm gonna make up a little salad with some avocado and then we can plate it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna serve mine with some salad leaves and avocado and that aioli, lemon aioli. For the avocado, I'm just gonna do half of it. So slice him down the middle and then just twist. So you get that part and then I'm just gonna slice it here to save using the chopping board again. You can just run the knife down to the skin. Grab a spoon and a plate. And then we can just scoop the avocado out. You can go on the plate. Push them down. Touch your seasoning. My olive oil can go in with my leaves. A little bit over the avocado. Can stack that up. And then can just go straight onto the plate with my with my fritters. So if you're worried that they're too soft, then just add a little bit of almond meal or flour, whatever, that will firm them up and it will just make them that little bit easier to cook. So that is it. So can dollop of lemon aioli, a lemon wedge for the salad, the avocado and the fritters. And that is it, super easy, fresh summer vibe. And it's just a great one for summer. So give it a go, let me know what you think and comment below. So I hope you love it, I hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. You get notified if you hit the bell when I put my next video up. So I'd love to see you here again. So until the next one, happy cooking, and I'll see you there.